Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about if statements in C++. So how do you make an if statement in C++? Well, it is not actually that different from Python. There are only some small differences. So to make an if statement, you still need to use the if keyword. But unlike in Python, where you just directly type the condition, you have to enter round brackets and inside those round brackets you have to keep your condition and then outside instead of a colon you have to put curly brackets and whatever you want the program to do if the condition is met should go inside the curly brackets so let's first have an integer variable int a and let's set it equal to 5 and now inside the if statement, let's set the condition such that if a is equal to equal to 5 to do something. Now let's set it to print a is 5. Now let's run this program. You see that? It printed a equal to 5. That's because the condition has been met. Let's make it print something slightly different. Now it's saying A is 5. Now let's say we want the program to do something else when this condition is not met but some other condition is met. Instead of just setting up another if, which you can do, nothing wrong with that, we can use an else if statement. Now in Python we use an else if stated statement as an elif but in C++ we type it as else if with a space in between the else and if. It is important that we have this space otherwise the program won't read it properly. The rest of the syntax is the same. Inside the condition let's set it such that if a is equal to equal to 2. If that's the case, we'll make the else if statement to print a is 2. Now let's run the program. You can see that a is 5. That's because the first if statement has run. That's because the variable a is set to 5. Now let's change it to 2. See that? Now it's printing A is 2. The if statement, the first if statement failed, and so the else if statement is now running. Let's just add another else if statement. Else if A is equal to equal to 0, C out A is 0. Let's run the program. The else if statement is still running, the same else if statement, so let's just change a equal to 0. You see that? Now the third else if statement is running, else if a is equal to 0. And now it's printing a is 0. Now let's say we want an if all else fails statement, like the else statement. Like in Python, we have to use the else keyword and the rest of the syntax is the same uh, like the if statement in C++ so else round brackets curly brackets inside the round brackets we don't actually need the round brackets actually since this is an else statement but if you want you could put it on older versions of C++ okay so we have our else statement and in this let's just make it print that a is not 5 to or 0. Let's run this. Right now the else statement is not running. The else if statement is running. So let me just set a equal to 10. That's neither 5 or 2 or 0. You see that? 
now the else statement is running because all the uh, if and else if statements before are not running and now it's printing a is not 5 to o0 these equal to equal to operations are not the only thing you can do let's just add another else if statement I can set it such that the a can be checked whether it is not a value I'll just remove the else statement okay so else if a is not equal to 3 actually let's set it to a not equal to 2 so if I was going to use not what I would have to do is use the exclamation equal to sign so else if a is not equal to 2 then c out a is not 2 I'll just add another else if if I want to check if a is greater than or less than some number I can just use the greater than or less than symbols like how we do it in math like this one else if a is greater than 10 I can also do a is less than 10 and I can also use greater than or equal to as well as less than or equal to note that if you're going to use those symbols the order of the equal sign matters you have to put the equal sign after the angled bracket not before the angle bracket So we actually have a lot of symbols that we can use not only in C++ but basically any programming language. The equals to operator which uses double equal sign, not equals to which is made of an exclamation mark and equal sign, greater than, less than, greater than equal to, less than equal to, the not operator, the not operator can stand on its own and we have some logical operators as well like the AND operator which is made of two ampersands and the OR operator made of two vertical bars all of these operators combine to be used in logical statements in IF statements and ELSE IF statements So this is how you make an if statement as well as an else if and else statement in C++. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.